Six days now separating Errol Spence Jr. and Sean Porter from the first welterweight unification bout to ever take place in Los Angeles before they make history. They join us now with Sean in studio, Errol in Dallas. Good to see you both. Thank you both for taking the time. Appreciate you got it. got it. Not a problem. Uh, let's get right to no it. No problem. Both of you have been talking a lot of trash in the build-up to this one, including this week when, Sean, you said that Errol has become arrogant. What changes have you seen in Errol? Oh, y'all heard me say that? <laughs> he, I, I honestly, no, I think that Errol is, is feeling himself, you know, as, you know, when you're dominant, when you are, you know, the guy who is a champion right now, you know, I get how that could happen, but time to calm down, baby. Anything wrong with feeling yourself, Errol? Uh, it has nothing to do with feeling myself. I've been feeling myself. I've been feeling myself since my career started because, you know, I've been saying that, you know, I could beat all the guys, top guys in the division. So, you know, it's not just that I'm arrogant. It's just now, now that they're hearing me because I'm at the top of the mountain. So, you know, all the arrogant stuff, they all go out the door. I've been training hard. I'm fully focused and um, I'm ready to fight. So it doesn't matter if you're arrogant or not, as long as you're training hard, as long as you focus, you listen to your coach, and I'm doing everything possible to, to ensure me a victory. Mm -hmm. Errol, how you doing? Um, let me ask you this. You, you told Sean to his face that you would knock him out. Now, we know that Sean's never been knocked out. Would it be a letdown if it, if it doesn't happen? Um, a little bit. It would be a little bit of a letdown. Um, you know, it's something that I really want. I really want to be the first person to stop Sean Porter. Um, you know, he want to be the first person to stop me too. So, you know, I think it's in the back of both of our minds. I'm not going to go out my way or look sloppy or, you know, try to do something extra just to get the knockout. You know, if it happens, it happens. But, you know, hopefully I get it come uh, Saturday night. Errol, if you didn't knock out Mikey Garcia, what makes you think you can knock out Sean? Keep throwing. Um, no. <laughs> it, that was a jab. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, I think, you know, Mikey's more defensively responsible than, uh, than Sean Porter. So, I mean, I feel like, you know, I feel like with Sean's style, it definitely enables me to, you know, catch him coming in and knock him out. Mm -hmm. But that was good. That was a good question. That was a Thank good Thank you, Errol. I didn't mean it in any kind of a way. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sean, right now, man, uh, Errol is still clearly the betting favorite. Are you surprised that you're the underdog going into this fight? And no, how do you feel about it? Not at all. I'm not surprised that I'm the underdog. This is where I come from. Uh, I'm blue collar, baby. And, and you know exactly what that means. We have to work for everything we get. And all the way up until now, I've had to work for everything that I've gotten. So it doesn't surprise me all to be an underdog. You know, again, he's 25 and 0, he's young. He's, you know, everybody looks at him like he, you know, he's being avoided and things like that. So when it comes to this, I think that the, the, the betting odds are looking at it statistically more so than what could really happen in the fight. And so, you know, for me, I'm just out there to prove everybody wrong now. There have been a lot of great welterweight unification bouts that we've seen through the years. Uh, Errol, is this gonna, one, gonna be more Mayweather Pacquiao or more Leonard Hearns? Um, I think it could be more of a, a Leonard Hearns. I mean, I think this fight here is going to be, you know, very exciting. I think it will be more exciting than Floyd Mayweather and Pacquiao fight. You know, just, you know, with two of our styles meshing together with Sean, he's all action. You know, I'm all action. So I think at some point we're just going to meet in the ring and, you know, we're going to go at it. So, you know, I think this right here might be, you know, one of the classic fights, especially a classic unification fight. Sean. Hold on. You said classy fight, but I remember you called them dirty. So you think it's going to be a clean fight? Oh, yeah. No, I said classic. Classic. Oh, classic. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Classic. That's blow for dirty. blow, toe to toe. Is, so, do you still think he's dirty, nah, though? No, no. That ain't oh, yeah. changed. I mean, in the, in the in what, two weeks? Everybody what did he do last time? I'm just saying, like, <laughs> ain't changed in two weeks. He about to find out, though. This will be ain't a classic. Ain't nothing changed. Everybody knows know he's dirty. I mean, you know. Whatever it takes to win. So, I mean, that's, that's, you know, that's what they do. So, Sean, you said repeatedly that Errol Spence will be broken in this fight. What makes you so confident? Um, you know what, again, I, I think that a lot of guys have allowed Errol Spence to get his way. I think that uh, I know that I'm prepared to do everything that it mm -hmm. takes 
to uh, make that not the case. I've been in the ring with you. You know how I come. You know that um, no matter what, no matter when, I'm going to be right there and do whatever it takes to do to get the job done. I think that uh, Arrow is relying on his size. I think he is uh, relying on the power that he's held through 25 fights against guys who shy away from him. And I think that that's what he's relying on. He thinks he can knock me out, things like that. He says, I'm a 30 fighter. All of those things right. that he's saying, he really does believe all that. Right. And I think that's going to take away from everything. No, I'm but you are right. And, and Errol, let me ask you this. I, I don't think you ever fought a style like like Sean's. You know, he has not. You, you, Sean is like in your face type of fighter. And most of the times, you, you you know, you fought against fighters that are more, you know, stylistically uh, about boxers. Fear, you know, fearful? <laughs> I don't know about all that. <laughs> but, uh, they, you know, more skillful fighters, meaning, you know, they're more boxers. And, and, and Sean is more in your face type of fighter. Oh, uh, I man, that doesn't matter. Um, I'm sure I'm sure Ray Leonard never fought a style like Tyma Hearns before he fought Tyma Hearns. Tyma Hearns never fought a style like Ray Leonard before he fought him. Hagler never fought a style like Tyma Hearns before they fought each other. So, I mean, you know, that it really doesn't matter. It's all about making adjustments inside the ring. It's all about adapting. It's all about fighting the game, planning your coach. And, you know, I feel like I come out victorious. So. I'm good at adapting. I feel like I've seen every style with, if it was amateur, sparring, or, you know, professional. I've seen this style before. He's a come forward fighter. You know, I feel like mm -hmm. he can't box, so, you know. But we want to know, EJ, like you ready for I'm a dog I'll fight? I'll be victorious. That's what they want to know. People want to know, are you ready oh, yeah. for a dog fight? I mean, I'm ready for anything he brings to the table, period. It doesn't matter. I'm ready for anything he brings to the table. If you want to meet, if we meet in the middle of the ring, so be it. It doesn't matter on the ropes, wherever. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure he's ready matter. as well. Look, listen. <laughs> <and> I... <laughs> he ain't ready. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you scared me. <laughs> <laughs> you think you ready? ready. <laughs> you think you ready? You uh, supposed to be ready. How do you feel about that when Errol writes we'll off your see. your skills? It's okay. It's okay. It's only a matter of time. Uh -huh. You say uh, what? Anything he's written off, he's about to find out. Um, but at the same time, you almost reduce Errol to just his height, his size, mm -hmm. his power. But we all saw from Errol that he has a lot more to offer than that in the, in the Mikey Garcia fight. And you, and you haven't seen me offer any more than just me being rough and rugged in any of, any of my fights? We, we, you've seen it all from me, but you've seen one style a little bit more than you've seen the rest of it. I think the thing, that here's the thing, when Errol Spence chose to box with Mikey, nobody expected him to be able to box Mikey. Mm -hmm. And when he did that, he brought, he, he opened everyone's eyes. And with me, it's like, you know, I've, I've been a, an aggressive it, it, it fighter. It didn't open everybody's eyes. Everybody, everybody you, know from or, my amateur you know, background, the I The majority box, of my so. career, so that's what you I don't you know expect, what you're talking about. You know? So I think that, um, you know, he may overlook it, he may over, uh, underwrite it or whatever the case may be, but, you know, the jab is there, the straight right hand is there, the skills are there. I have boxer's eyes. I know what I'm looking at, I know what, and I know what I want to see. And I, I will see what I want and get it. Tell me how this one ends. Errol, you first. I'm knocking him out cold. Sean? Showtime Sean Porter leaves the building as the unified champion of the world. Do you care whether you get a knockout or not? Nope. It doesn't matter. I know uh, beating Errol Spence will change, be great. I might change so my nickname to the, the showstopper. Done, will be done in fantastic I might change my nickname <laughs> to the showstopper after Saturday night. <laughs> What's he say? He's going to change his nickname to showstopper after Saturday night. Oh, stop Earl, it. Earl, oh, that's the cute. When'd you come Spence. up with that one? Errol the showstopper <laughs> Spence. Hey. You know it come off top of the dome. You know it come off top of the dome. <laughs> All right, guys, both of you, thank you very much. You Appreciate it. it. Great to see you both. Best of luck in this one. I cannot wait for Saturday. It's going to be a really, really huge one. Looking forward to be part of it. Thank you for watching. Well, if you enjoyed that clip, make sure you click uh, somewhere around here and subscribe from Fight Highlights to exclusive interviews. We have got everything you need as a boxing fan right here on PBC on Fox.